So we're around that late winter slash early spring time of the year. So late February, March time frame. And the question is, if you have any weeds in your lawn, should you spray them? The quick answer, yes. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about several things that are pertaining to weed control. Things like, when should you spray your weeds? What weed control should you use? And when is the best time to use them? So the first question that you may ask is, when should you spray your weeds? And according on to where you live and what your temperatures are, you need to spray your weeds right now. The reason why you want to spray your weeds now is because you want to get to those weeds before they get to a mature state. Because once those weeds grow into a full plant, they're going to start dropping seeds. And if you wait until it's really warm outside and then you go out there and enjoy your first mow and you don't spray those weeds and they have already start seeding, you're going to deal with those weeds again in the near future. So. If you have any weeds in your lawn, it's best to take care of those weeds immediately. So the next question that you may ask is, what weed control should you use? Well, before I get into that, do you know that there's two different formulas when it comes to weed control? Hmm. Yeah, I know the only thing that you're used to doing is just going to your big box store, regardless if it's Home Depot or Lowe's, you head straight on over to the line and garden section where they have all of the weed control on the shelf. You pick one, throw it in your basket, go to the cashier, check out and go home and don't think twice about it. But yes, there are two different types of weed controls when it comes to formulas. And those formulas are an ester base and an amni base formula. Now pay attention because I'm about to lay it flat like a doormat. Now when it comes to some example of some ester based herbicides, some of the ones that I like to use as well as others is going to be Speed Zone, T Zone, Triad Select, Turfline Ester. You will know that you're dealing with an ester based product when you look at the label and you see the word ester. So for example, Speed Zone has in it 2,4-D ester. Turfline ester, the active ingredient is triclopyr ester. In Triad TC Select, you're going to have 2,4-D ester, triclopyr ester. And these are just some examples that you are using an ester based weed control. When it comes to the Amni based products, you're going to see on the label the word salt. So it's going to be salt of this or salt of that. 2,4-D diamethylene, dicamba diamethylene. To make it simple, when you look at the label and you see that long word and the last letters in that long word is A-M-I-N-E, you know you're dealing with an Amni based herbicide. <laughs> Matter of fact, when you go to your big box stores, whether it's Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards, Walmart, Ace Hardware, and you go to your line and garden section and you pick out your weed control, most if not all of those weed controls on those shelves are going to be amnine based products. Check it out. Roundup for lawns. BioAdvance all in one. Ortho, Spectracide, and even Image. All of these are Amni based products. So now that you know the difference between the two, the last question that you may ask is when's the best time I need to use them? So I'll start with ester base first. When it comes to ester based products, the best time to be able to use them is when the temperatures are cool. So where I'm located at here in Louisville, Kentucky, February, March, April, May, October, November, those are when the temperatures are cool. Temperatures are gonna be like 45 plus degrees, 50s, 60s, 70s, 
that's when you want to use an ester-based herbicide. Ester-based herbicides are going to provide better weed control in cooler temperatures. Another thing about ester-based herbicides is they are what we call hot when you're dealing with some summer heat because not only will you take care of the weed that you are spraying, you also can do some injury to your turf when you're spraying that particular weed. They are also more volatile and they can cause damage to your plants or your ornamentals if you're dealing with any drift. Now when it comes to amni-based herbicides, they are best used when the temperatures are warmer. They are less volatile than ester-based herbicides, meaning you're going to get less drift and it's going to be a lower risk for vaporizing. So when you're talking about spraying amni-based herbicides in warmer temperatures, those temperatures are going to consist of the 60s, the 70s, and the 80s, maybe up to 85. Now when it comes to spraying over 85, I'm not going to be spraying a whole bunch of weeds. If I'm doing any spraying, it's going to be spot spraying. Now there's one easy way that you can be able to remember when you need to use amni-based products. For example, what is a weed that everyone normally struggles with in the summertime? Crabgrass. What is one of the products that a lot of people have to use to take care of crabgrass? Quinclorac. When you go to the products at your big box stores, all the ones that I've named, every one of them are going to have Quinclorac in it. Yes, they're gonna be different rates, but they're gonna have that Quinclorac. So for example, Roundup Falons, it has Quinclorac. BioAdvance All-in-One, Quinclorac. Ortho, Quinclorac. Spectracide, Image, Quinclorac. The only time that you're going to see crabgrass is when it's warmer. The only time that you need to use an amni-based herbicide is when it's warmer. So now you know when you should spray your weeds, what weed control you should use, and when is the best time to use it. Now you can use any one of those weed controls that I was telling you about. Just make sure that when you get that weed control that it is compatible with your grass type. Don't use the wrong weed control on your grass because it will mess up your lawn. So I hope this information has been helpful to you when it comes to your lawn. Here's some more videos that you can be able to watch that are talking about weed control. Now, make sure you check out that one right there because we're gonna be in the summertime before you know it. And if you are struggling with a particular type of weed, I'll let you know exactly what type of weed control you need to use regardless if you're buying it from the big box store or if you're ordering it online. I thank you all for tuning in. This is your boy Polo with Polo Fields Line Service. Y'all have a blessed one, and I'll see y'all in the next one.